Stanley. And um, I'm excited today's Think Tank Thursday. So, you know, if it's one o'clock on Thursday, you ought to be tuned into the Facebook channel at um, Trainertainment. I'd like to thank our sponsors for uh, being a part of our think tanks. We do at least 40 of them a week. And today, uh, in lieu of an interview, one of the things that our customers and our team has kind of asked me to do is to talk about what are the best ways to approach um, a, a potential new client. We call it in NBD, new business development. We think you ought to spend at least 25% of your time looking for new business. And, um, you know, it, it can be awkward to go meet somebody for the first time. It, there's so much written today about the cold call is dead and blah, 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 blah. But I got to tell you, the, the people that go from sales amateur to sales pro begin to prioritize new business development. And, and there are lots of ways to, to go find that. You can you can network, you can join clubs and organizations, you can make sure you go to trade show events. Um, you can go cold call and knock on doors. I personally love, love, love referral. Um, and so I'm going to talk just a little bit, just kind of a one, two, three step about who to call on. And then the primary goal of this time together is how do I do that? Like, what do I say and, and how do I approach it? So big disclaimer, uh, I'm not wild about, um, this sounds crazy, but I'm uncomfortable, probably just like most people, about meeting people I don't know. Now, I love, love people. And I really have a great time when I get engaged with new people. But I always like to know something about it. And quite frankly, I want to hang out with people that, that I like. And so step one would be be specific uh, about who you want to approach. Who do you want to do business with? Have you decided who your ideal client or customer is. And, and it can't be everybody in the world because number one, you don't like everybody in the world. Not everybody in the world is an ideal client. Um, you don't want to be random about it. So be specific and, and I'd make a list, right? And I don't want you to spend all your time making a list. You can do that and procrastinate rather than get out there and do the new business development. But I do think that that's, uh, I think that's step number one. So get specific about who belongs on your list and who you really want to go do business with. Because for me, who's kind of a nervous Nelly about meeting people that I don't know necessarily, I really want to know people that, hmm, that I really want to know. <laughs> that kind of sounds goofy, but maybe you know what I mean. You want to do a little research. So if they made your list, um, you you can look them up on LinkedIn. You can look them up on social media. I love I I love LinkedIn because if I see somebody out there that I want to do business with, I'm usually only one person away or maybe two people away from somebody who really knows that person. And so I love to ask for um, an I, I like to ask for an introduction because when somebody that knows that human introduces me to the new human, then I've got some cred factor. I've also got some common ground because we both knew that person. And that may sound real basic, but I don't think any of us were using that as much as we could. And in a, in a new business development strategy, I think it helps you get to uh, new business more efficiently and gives you a, a better result than just pick up the phone and um, smiling and dialing until your fingers and your face fall off. So, um, and then listen, you just got to do it. You, you, you got to put yourself in a position to meet new people or to go knock on doors or whatever it is that puts you in front of the people who could be your brand new client, right? And so, the top A way that I would recommend you doing it that's most efficient in a lot of ways 
and you can get most connected with people would be certainly in person. The second way would be Zoom. You know, this is a virtual way for us to get more connected because we can see our facial features. We can see our body language. We can, you know, we can just be more connected because we can see each other. Um, I think the phone, I've always loved the phone. I'm an old sales gal. And um, to me, the phone is a great way to try to set up appointments and and then go meet people in person. And then finally, email. And I, I'm afraid that so many people today, I think so many people in sales, use email first. Um, I don't know about you, but my inbox and even my LinkedIn box is full of, full of like, hey, did you get my email? And, and there are people I don't know. It really, really annoys me. I, I believe that must be an effective thing to do because so many people are doing it. I don't like it. As, as somebody who, who is a, a person who other people do business with, I get really frustrated when I get an email from somebody and then this, I don't know, passive aggressive email that says, hey, maybe you're not getting my emails. You know, I see email. I don't like that. I like email when I have tried to call you and I had to leave you a voicemail. And so I probably will follow up and say, hey, Mr. Smith or Miss Smith, I left you a voicemail today. My name is Beth Stanley and I'd love to talk with you about any of your coaching and training needs in the future, right? I mean, I don't mind just being really straight up front. Is there a better time to set up an appointment with you? I have time here and here, or you could click my book now button or whatever, you know, cause you want to call to action if you're going to send people an email, okay? So how would I do it? How would I do it if I was um, going to meet somebody for the first time? whether I'm walking into their office or meeting them on, um, let's say we're going to an event and um, we're walking up and introducing ourselves to somebody. Uh, my, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is have an, object, an, an objective in mind. So if you're going to the chamber, um, we have an upcoming reception that we'll be at. I, in my mind, I, in my mind, decide I'm going to I'm going to have five meaningful conversations. Now, let me tell you what I think meaningful conversation is. I, I met somebody and I know what to do with them next. I've set up an appointment for a lunch or um, a call or even the butt person absolutely had no more interest, you know, like they weren't qualified. And so I know what I'm going to do with them, and mark them off my list. So I will first go with an objective. So if you're doing an outbound knock on businesses doors day maybe your objective is i'm gonna i'm not i'm gonna stay out here until i have five meaningful conversations um, i did a speaking engagement at a chamber event not long ago and i guarantee you i was like i'm gonna have at least five meaningful conversations i knew there were going to be about 30 people in the audience and i wanted to be sure that i captured at least five people i didn't know any of them but that i could have an ongoing opportunity to sell uh, another service to them okay so first thing to do is, is go with an objective don't be willy-nilly zig ziglar has a, a favorite quote of mine he said do you want to be a meaningful specific or a wandering generality if you go with no objective then you're a wandering generality and how will you know you won so please do that before you go okay here you go. Um, I will pretend I'm walking up to you at a chamber meeting and I don't know you. Are you ready? I wish you were here with me. I would simply introduce myself and um, and I would tell them, you know, why I'm here. And then I'm going to ask them a relevant question about them. I'm going to get to them as quickly as I can. I think what we do when we're trying to do new business development in our mind, we're like, I'm trying to get new business. I'm trying to get new business. And so we just start pitching and you don't want to do that. Okay. And so, so here's what that might look like. Okay. So here I go. Hey, I'm, I'm Beth. You are Amy. Hi, Amy. It's so nice to, to meet you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm with Trainertainment. You, you are, you're with uh, ABC, whatever, right? Fantastic. What brings you to this event? And they might tell me 
they're excited to talk to the speaker or, or whatever it is they're going to tell me, right? And then I might say, how often do you attend events like this, right? What motivates you to, to come? I'm going to get in a conversation and let that person tell me all about them. Um, eventually, I will get, in, you know, and, and you can kind of tell if people, usually if they've gone to a networking event, they know that chatting with others is, is part of the process, right? And you will eventually be able to get to you. And in that networking situation, that person then probably will say, well, tell me about what you do, right? I have a coaching and training company and uh, we help people in sales service and leadership. Um, what do y'all do? What do y'all do for uh, training and coaching at your company? Right? So again, I'm going to turn it right back and try to learn more about what they do. Now then, if, I, if, if I'm if i an event planner, right, I would say, um, oh, I work at ABC Entertainment and I'm the, uh, I'm the, I'm the experience coordinator. <laughs> we, we build, um, we build all kinds of group and, and team building events for companies, kids, churches, and, and charities. What, uh, what is, what does your company do? For uh, for event planning with your team, do y'all go for holiday parties? Do you do quarterly team building? What what do y'all do normally? Where have you been? What have y'all enjoyed the most? What have you got the most? What's been the worst one you ever did? Right. So those are the ways to have that conversation, but to continue to turn that conversation back to them because really and truly, what you want to what you want to do is to think about yourself like you're a private detective, um, you know, an investigator, maybe. Uh, sometimes somebody, I had somebody literally say, gosh, you're nosy. <laughs> and I know I'm doing the right thing. If somebody said I'm nosy, I can laugh about it. And I probably know I'm on the right track because I'm learning and finding out something about them rather than making it all about me. In the networking setting, it's you're going to get your time. You're going to get your time to pitch. And at, during this conversation, when I'm learning about whether or not they do events, for instance, I'm going to then, my objectives change, and I'm going, remember I said I'm, I want to have a meaningful conversation, so I have to have a next step. I would say, well, Amy, I love it that y'all get to go do things at least at Christmas, at you know, at the holidays and um during the summertime, I'd love to invite you over to our center and just give you a tour and so you could see what might be possible. Because uh, we, we'd love to have the opportunity to have your company come to us. Is that something you could do uh, potentially this week or next? I'll be happy to stay after work and we could do happy hour together Tuesday or Thursday of, of next week. What do you think? Right. So that's how I'm going to. I'm I'm going to just really just be in conversation. And I got to tell you something. When, when it's not all about you and you're not trying to make some big impression on somebody, ugh, it's so much easier. Um, the nervous Nelly in me gets all calm, you know, because I can lean in and, and be friendly and learn about people. And that I, I'm genuinely curious about others. And from a sales perspective, I think it really elevates my opportunity to get to a next step. Okay, let's imagine. That you that you're literally uh, knocking on doors, right? And you've gone into company X Y Z. Here's how I'm going to do it, and it's probably going to be a gatekeeper, um, administrator up front. I'm going to I'm going to say hi, I'm Beth, and I'm with ABC Fun Center down the street. All I'm doing is trying to see what companies are doing uh, this year for. Uh, there are holiday events or any any kind of quarterly team building. Who here handles all that? Is that is that you? Um, do you handle that? I know whoever works up front here has to do all the work. <laughs> I want to I want to connect with that person. I want that person to be on my side. If I'm if I'm dropping cookies, she knows she knows or he knows if I'm dropping cookies, I'm wanting something right. And so. As I hand those cookies, if I'm doing a cookie drop, I'm going to say, hi, I'm Beth with XYZ uh, Entertainment, and um, I brought cookies for you all. It is a bribe. Um, what I'm trying to find out today is who plans events, 
who, who do you know how often your company uh, do, does things maybe for quarterly team building or might hold a holiday party or um you know maybe even a midsummer picnic right and you're going to listen and um they're going to tell you uh um our event planner nancy smith is who handles all that stuff oh fantastic thank you for letting me know that um do you book appointments for nancy because i'd sure like to have the opportunity to find out how they you know decide where to go and things like that um let her tell you if she books events uh do you happen to have her card and and listen if i can't get any information at all at least i know it's nancy smith and and so I met my objective. I found out who does events. Hopefully I found out if they do events. And if I've got the name, I can now go look on LinkedIn. Um, I And I can call her. I can probably call her. I can, I can probably send her an email at this point. Hey, Ms. Smith, I stopped by and talked to your admin up front. Um, I'm Beth from ABC Fun Center. And um, she said, you're responsible for, for booking events. And I just wanted to throw my hat in the ring and invite you to come out and, and do a tour, Th that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, guys, the, the, the best piece of advice I can say to you is to go practice. I practice in my head a lot. Um, you know, I'm role playing with myself here in, in in front of you that's kind of awkward oh well anyway if you want to role play <laughs> with one of us uh feel free to call us pick up the phone i'm happy to practice with you and and to give you some coaching and some guidance we have formal we have formal one-on-one -on -one coaching programs where we could help you with that sort of thing we have a group coaching program where you could collaborate with others and we could role play and practice that sort of thing listen it's so wild that sales is about the only game where anybody gets any practice is when they're in the game and you, you do need to practice you need to be rolling that stuff in your head so i hope this was helpful um thanks for doing some thinking with us if you've got some feedback um please please don't hesitate to send us uh any any kind of question or if you would like to see more of this kind of training or think tanking on on Thursdays you just you just let us know my name's Beth trainertainment Beth at trainertainment.net please feel free to send me an email and I'll talk with you soon hi Beth Stanley here listen I want to personally invite you to join our group sales coaching program you can jump in anytime and when you do I'll autograph a copy of my book people buy from people, how to connect personally in an impersonal world. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a quick read and fun, and I'd love to share it with you. Sign up today. My name is Brittany Betty, and I am the Regional Sales Director and Business Development Manager over at Betson Enterprises. Here at Betson, we are so excited to be a part of Trainertainment this year. For those of you who are unaware of Betson and what we do, we are the leading distributor of coin-operated equipment, and we are a family-owned business that has been around for 85-plus years. Please take a moment to watch a quick video on an introduction on the phased approach and turnkey solution we can offer you in your facility.
thank you so much for taking the time for watching. And if you have any questions and would like to reach out to me, I can be reached at my email at bbetty, B-B-E-T-T-I, at betson, B-E-T-S-O-N dot com. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions or needs you might have in the family entertainment industry, and I would be happy to assist you. Thank you and have a great day. Are you looking for ways to maximize profits and consolidate systems and processes? Join the Party Center Software and Party Center Pay family. Our suite of solutions makes it easy for you to run your family entertainment center or event business. Our online party booking system makes booking parties and events a breeze. Our point of sale system, digital waivers, and reports will help you simplify steps for your staff and make your guest experience seamless. Our online store allows you to sell products, gift certificates, and other services anytime, even when you're sleeping. But it doesn't end there. All of the solutions mentioned connect with our payment processing platform, Party Center Pay, making it easier than ever to manage your business not only can Party Center Pay save you money by cutting out extraneous fees, but Party Center Pay makes it easy to take online deposits or full payments, and we even have a contactless payment option. Paired with our incredible support team and dedicated customer success managers, growing and managing your business has never been easier. Schedule a call with us today to learn more. My wife and I, you know, we, this is a partnership with her and I, so we both agreed that, you know, in in creating scary strokes, um, that we want to make sure that we have the best available of everything. You know, Embed just seemed like the perfect fit, like, you know, it was pretty streamlined and had the, the point of sales and the, the software for the redemption, and it just seemed, you know, natural to us. So we've been with Embed since, since the very beginning. And so when, uh, when Embed, you know, it was introducing the mobile wallet, it seemed like a good opportunity for us to, to jump on, and it's wonderful. I mean, you don't, <laughs> you reload your card from it, you, you know, redeem your tickets from it. There's, there's nothing not to like about it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's very convenient, and it's uh, very clever for sure. Empowering your employees to manage your redemption area with confidence can be a challenge. The redemption counter is often the last stop your customers make before leaving your facility. That's why we do everything we can to help your staff make that experience one worth returning for. Our service packages allow you to reap the benefits of expertise and customer support, no matter where your business is in its maturity. The advanced and pro service bundles are unmatched by any other redemption provider in the industry. They allow you to get the support you need when you need it. Gain confidence in your redemption program knowing your employees are taking advantage of benefits like exclusive redemption training, regular planogram refreshes, product performance and spending reports, and much more. All accessible from an online portal customized to your business. Learn more at services.redemptionplus.com.